blood. You watch movies or play games where people or animals get sliced open and the blood is always red. But sometimes scary monsters or aliens might get their head chopped off and gush blue blood all over the place. Well, aliens haven't visited here and monsters don't exist. But what about blue blood? It's a common misconception that arteries send out red blood and veins bring back blue blood. All the blood in your body is fairly bright red, no matter where it's at. That's because the hemoglobin protein that carries oxygen throughout your body is red. On the other hand, there are a few people that have a disorder in which they have an elevated saturation of met hemoglobin, an abnormal protein which can cause blood to be a bluish brown color. It's usually caused by a rare recessive gene. So humans rarely ever have something similar to blue blood, but some animals can, and this is where it gets really fun and super interesting. Some arthropods have hemocyanin instead of hemoglobin that moves their oxygen around. Hemocyanin contains copper, which makes the blood look blue instead of the red like the iron in hemoglobin. Horseshoe crabs have the most famous blue blood of all. It's worth around $15,000 per liter. What? Yeah, now you know that horseshoe crab blood is one of the most expensive liquids on the planet. But why? Their blood contains amoebocytes that clot blood around bacteria and endospores better than just about anything else on the planet. It's so effective that it's used in the medical field to clean tools that will end up being used for surgeries. It's a bit surprising that even in 2016, the best cleaning agent that we have is blood from a little sea creature that's 450 million years old. So the blood is absolutely amazing for humans, and it's great for the horseshoe crabs, but at this point we sadly need to steal their blood somehow. So what they do is catch wild horseshoe crabs, jab a needle near their heart, and bleed them for about one third of their blood. Is it cruel? A little bit, but horseshoe crabs like other arthropods don't feel pain. So the process may not be comfortable, but it's definitely not torture. The process definitely is not perfect but it saves thousands of human lives every single year. After the bleeding, they feed them, and they release them in a separate location as to not re-bleed them multiple times. Throughout the entire process, including release, about 20% of the horseshoe crabs do end up dying, and the ones that survive tend not to do quite as well as the other crabs. Let me know what you think about the bleeding process, if you think we should keep doing it or find a better way. And as always, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.